Going to focus Ben from Stones again today with these Monkey Grip Ratchet Tie Downs. Hit it. These are easy to use ratchet tie downs to reliably secure your load. They've got a 450 kilo lashing capacity and conform to Australian New Zealand standards. Before we dive in, we've got loads more content like this on our channel, so make sure you like and subscribe below. Now let's jump into the product. I've got one of these straps in my hand here. They come individually, but they also come as packs of four and various sort of um, configurations. So depending on how many you need, check what's available on our website. But this is one strap here, so they come as two parts. It's 25 millimeter, uh, 25 millimeter uh, polyester webbing here, and then on the end of each one, you've got this uh, kind of plasticky, rubbery coated, heavy duty uh, hook. So that's on this end here, and this is just a four meter. This one here is a four meter strap um, on, on the end of that. There's nothing on the end of this strap here apart from a flat cut. So that's one end of that strap, that's the other end. Then the other part that you get is this bit here, which has also got another one of those straps on it, and then the cam buckle here. This is what you can use to tension the strap. Now these have a 450 kilogram lashing capacity and a 900 kilo brake strength. Now what that means is that it's gonna take 900 kilos uh, before this physically breaks. The lashing capacity is always half of that uh, and that's to allow for the dynamic forces and things of the load that you're securing. So it doesn't directly correlate to the weight of the load that you're securing because you need to think about the dynamic forces, but loosely, this will secure a 400, uh, will withstand 450 kilos of um, tension on the strap while it's securing the load. If you've got, say, a 600 kilo load, you're probably going to, well, you will need two of these at least to secure it. If you've got a 900 kilo load, you might need three, maybe more, depending on how it's being transported. There's no black and white rule on that, but just check on regulations. Um, of what you need when you're securing your load. Now they do have uh, um, on each strap here, information about manufacture date, the standards that it meets and all the lashing capacity details on there. So certain industries will require that information. This does have that info on there. If you need it before you buy, check out our website. Now to use these straps, um, obviously there's two ends. Firstly, the, the hook ends here, if I start with this one here. Now you can use this to either secure down over um, the, the bars that you've got in a lot of utes, as long as it's a secure spot that can withstand the load that you're trying to secure with this. You can also loop it around something if you like, like so, so that that stays in place. You just need to make sure that this is secure. That's not gonna come undone. Then at the other end, or you've got the same, same uh, hook on both, so both ends of the strap here, so secure both of those ends. And then at the other ends, you've got the ratchet. So what you need there is the ratchet and the loose end here. To use this, you're gonna poke this through this section here on the round sort of, um, I guess axle you might call it, I'm not really sure. So pull that, put that through there. This end will be secure, the other end will be secure. You pull this through until you get some tension on the strap there. Once that's tight, you can then start to use this ratchet to tighten it up. You need at least two full loops around the inside here for it to be secure. You can see that's now pulling this around. That's gonna keep going around. If I loop that once more, it's gone around even further again and it's almost doubling back on itself now. So once again, and again, and now what that's doing, is just looping this around and around here and pulling, pulling tension on this end of the strap at the same time. That's now at a point where I can't pull that out, it's not gonna come loose, so this would be sitting reasonably taut over your load and you can now just keep doing this to make it tighter and tighter over your load until it's nice and secure and not gonna go anywhere. Push that back um, flat against there and it just sits there nice and securely uh, while you're in transit. Now to loosen it, you need to firstly push this all over, all the way over to this point here. So as far as it will go there. From there, you've got this little release lever here that you need to pull in and push this all the way over until it's almost flat like that. Once it's in that position there, it's released this um, mechanism in the middle here. And you can actually pull this to loosen the strap off completely. And then you can undo your load. So then get this back flat, pull this lever in again here, and that will then fold back flat. So you can then go back and reuse the buckle again, tuck it through the center point there, tension that, and then start ratcheting with this to tighten it up. And it's tightened up again. That is the monkey grip ratchet tie downs. Uh, 
Really good option for if you're looking for a lightweight but secure tie down and you need to get a lot of tension over, over your load. Sometimes just the ones that you pull by hand, you can't get enough tension on them. But with these guys here, you can really ratchet it down and make sure it's nice and tight. If you have got a big load, add lots of these. You've got 450 kilos lashing capacity on each one. So you can make sure your load stays nice and secure on your ute, your truck or on the roof rack of your four wheel drive. You can check these out online at snowies.com.au.